Okay, so hello everyone. So in this video, I will discuss about the interval estimate of the population mean when the population standard deviation is no. Okay, so sa video naman na ito, papakita natin paano kinukuha si interval estimate or also called the confidence interval. So dun sa last video, ang kinukute lang natin is si point estimate or yung meron lang tayong kinuha is um, the specific value to estimate the parameter. So dito naman kay interval estimate, ang kinukuha natin is range of values to estimate the parameter. So, this estimate may or may not contain the real values. So, may possibility pa rin na wala doon sa ating interval estimate yung hinahanap natin na real values. Okay? So, the confidence level of an interval estimate of a parameter is the probability that the interval estimate contains the parameter. It describes what percentage of intervals from many different samples contains the unknown population parameter. So, dito meron tayong tinatawag na confidence level. So, gano'n daw tayo ka-sure na yung ating hinahanap na real values is pasok doon sa ating interval estimate. Okay? So, meron tayong ginagamit or common percentage na ginagamit. Okay? So, pwede 90 95 or 99%. Yun yung tatlong usually na ginagamit na confidence level. Okay, so, for example, we have the 95% of confidence level. So, meaning 95% na sure ka na nandoon sa ating interval estimate kung hinahanap natin ng real values. Okay, so, meaning meron pa tayo another 5% na hindi tayo sure. And that 5% refer to the um a or we use the symbol A or alpha to refer the area outside the confidence level. Okay, so when the confidence level is 95%, so A or alpha is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95, that is the 95%, so that is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, so 0 0.05 dun sa ating normal curve, yan yung shaded part dyan. Okay, so ito 95%, yan yung um, probability na sure tayo na nandoon yung um, real values sa ating interval estimate. So it is a probability statement that the interval estimate contains the population value. Okay, so, in each confidence level na given, so, meron siya equivalent na z-values. Okay? So, gaya na sabi ko kanina, meron tayong 3 common percentage na ginagamit, which is the 90%, 95%, then 99%. Then, ito yung kanilang equivalent na z-values. So, pwedeng kabisaduhin nila lang. Okay? And then, ang tawag sa kanila is the critical values, also known as confidence coefficient. Okay? So, kapag ang given, ay kapag given yung ating um, probability standard deviation, okay? so, ang ginagamit ay yung z-values. Okay? So, note that these values are constant at those given confidence level. So, hindi na magbabago yung z-values na gagamitin. So, kapag ang given na confidence level is 90%, yung z-value na gagamitin mo is 1.65. Then, kapag 95% naman, 1.96. Then, kapag 99% naman, is 2.50. Okay? Okay, so, the interval estimate is expressed as, okay, so, ganito natin i-sulat yung ating interval estimate or yung range of values. Okay, so, population mean, so, siya yun na dito sa gitna, is greater than 2 mean minus e, but less than to mean plus e. Okay, so yung mean na nandito, yan yung na-compute natin na point estimate. Okay, minus e, yung e that is the margin of error. So, para ma-compute ang margin of error, okay, so we use this formula, the z value times the population standard deviation over the square root of n. 
Okay, so the margin of error is the maximum difference between the observed sample mean and the true value of the population mean. Okay. Okay, so here are the six steps in computing the interval estimate. Okay, so step one, describe the population parameter of interest. Step two, specify the confidence criteria. Step three, select the level of confidence and corresponding coefficient or critical values. Step four, collect the sample data and find the point estimate. So step one to step four, Alam, binibigay mo lang lahat ng given from the um, mean, um, confidence level, z-values, or then yung point estimate. Yan, then step 5, find the E and compute the interval estimate. Then step 6 is to describe the result. Okay, so now let's have an example. A random sample of 100 students are asked how much they spend for a meal during weekdays. The average expense is found to be 75 pesos and the population standard deviation is 5 pesos. Find the point estimate and the interval estimate of the population mean using the 95% confidence level. Okay, so you adding given um, sample is 100, 100 students. Then your average expense or your adding mean is 75. Then your population standard deviation is 5. Then your ginamit na confidence level is 95%. Meaning your z values na ating gagamitin is 1.96. Okay, so solution. So step one, describe the population parameter of interest. Okay. So the parameter of interest is the mean of the population where the sample came from. Okay, so step two, specify the confidence criteria. Okay, so yung given um yung sample information consists of n is equal to 100. Since we're at 100 student, then yung population standard deviation is 5. Okay, then step 3, select the level of confidence and the corresponding coefficient. Okay, so dito naman, ang ginamit is 95% confidence level or yung ating alpha is 0 0.05. Yung equivalent um, um, z value niya is 1.96. Okay, so step 4, collect the sample data and find the point estimate. Okay, so yung point estimate natin is 75. Yun yung given na mean. Okay? So, gaya na sabi ko kanina, step 1 to step 4, pinigay mo lang lahat mo um, given. Okay? Okay, so next step is to find the E or the margin of error and compute the interval estimate. So, first, let's compute the margin of error. We use this formula. E is equal to Z, yung Z that is the Z value, yung equivalent ng ating confidence level na 95% times the quantity of uh, population standard deviation over square root of n. Okay, so substitute na natin yung mga given na binigay natin from step 1 to 4. Okay, so in this formula. Okay, so yung Z natin ang equivalent ni 95% ay 1.96. Okay, then yung ating um, population standard deviation ay 5. Then yung ating n is 100. Okay, now compute this using your calculator. Okay, so makuha is 0 0.98. So ito na yung ating margin of error. So now, express na natin yung ating interval estimate. So, okay, so ang kailangan natin to express the interval estimate is yung ating point estimate yung mean minus e yung ating margin of error so yan ipag mo minus then i-add mo lang okay so yung mean natin na given is 75 okay so based on sa ating problem given na siya so 75 minus 0 0.98 na ating um, margin of error so ito yung ating lower limit okay then dito naman sa kabila sa side okay so 75 
plus add ka naman nung 0.98. So now, ang makuha natin dyan is 74.02 tsaka 75.98. So, ibig sabihin, yung population mean daw natin ay between 74.02 and 75.98. So, dyan lang daw nag re-range yung ating um, population mean. Okay, so last step is to describe the result. So we can say with 95% confidence that the interval between 74.02 and 75.98 contains the population mean based on a sample size of 100. So expenses on meals range from approximately 74 pesos to 76 pesos. So that is the interval estimate.